Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. This is part two of our Creating an Idle Game series, and in this tutorial we'll be going over some more functionality for the idle game and we'll be adding a few extra features. Alright, so let's get started. So first in our HTML file, we will add a few more divs just to make this easier to code in the future. So div class equals main this will be inside of your menus div and this will just represent the main menu of the game and then another menu we'll call marketplace so div class equals marketplace And then within this div, we'll create a div called sell buttons for all the bet for all the buttons that we'll need to sell the logs. So div class equals sell buttons. And then with within this we'll have three buttons. So button one will be ID equals sell one. And then sell one log. Let's copy this. And this will be for selling 10 logs. So sell 10, sell 10 logs. And then the third button for selling all logs. So sell all. sell all logs perfect okay and then below this we'll just move the upgrades class into the marketplace all right and that's perfect and that's all we need for right now and so if we reload we can see that these buttons are visible but we only want them to be visible when we visit the marketplace so for right now, let's make them invisible. So inside the CSS, we'll say dot marketplace, and then display will be set to none. All right, perfect. And so now let's get started with the actual JS. So inside the JS file, we'll start by saying document dot ready function what this means is basically once the page has fully loaded do whatever is inside of here and so this will be the crux of our code and so first we're going to want to initialize a few variables not all of these variables will be used in this tutorial but they will be useful in future tutorials so var logs equals zero var money equals zero var log plus equals one var auto log plus equals zero var auto chopper price equals 100 var log price equals one and var menu Alright, so now let's say chop dot click function. What this means is once the user clicks on the element with the ID of chop, which is our chop log button, then do whatever's inside of here. So we'll increment log by log plus so log plus equals log plus and then we'll use two functions that we will define later in the video so change inventory and change market and so change inventory basically just updates the inventory so it updates the money and the logs and change market updates the market buttons which we haven't created yet and so let's create the change inventory 
function. So function change inventory. set to money colon dollar sign and then the money variable and then if logs equals one then we'll change the logs element Just copy that and then say you now own logs, logs. All right, perfect. So let's save that and let's see how that works. Chop log. Actually, let's comment out change market before we do that. Chop log. So it doesn't seem to be working. Let's go back to the index.html. Oh, I see the problem. Change log to logs. Save that. All right, perfect. Let's just add a space in between this. Control S. Okay, perfect. So now we will add functionality to the marketplace so that once you click on the marketplace button it will actually make you visit the marketplace so let's change this to or let's add visit dot click function that function right now switch menu function switch menu and then we'll take one parameter menu and so to define this we'll say dot menus children dot CSS display will be set to none and so we'll make everything invisible all the menus invisible and then we'll just make the menu that we want to be visible so dot plus menu CSS. We'll set the display of that to block. 
and then we'll return menu. All right, let's save this. Visit marketplace, perfect. And so right now we need a return button because we need to be able to actually return to the to the main menu. So let's add that in the HTML. So inside of the marketplace div, we'll just create a button called return. So button ID equals return. And we'll just call this we'll just have the text be return. Visit marketplace return perfect. And so inside of the app.js, let's say return dot click function menu equals switch menu to main. Visit marketplace, return, you can chop logs. All right, perfect. And last thing we're gonna do for this tutorial is do some styling inside of the CSS, just to make things look a little bit better. And so we'll say dot cell buttons, set the display of this to grid. So display grid and then grid template columns this just defines how many columns there are we'll say repeat 3 by 72 pixels and then the margin bottom so the space underneath the actual buttons will be 10 pixels all right, let's see how this looks. Visit marketplace, perfect. You can return, you can chop logs. All right, perfect. That is the end of this tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed. And please like and subscribe if you enjoy the tutorial. And do not hesitate to place any of your questions in the comment section below. Thank you, this has been Steam Code. I will see you next time.